Okay, so my uh, windshield washer reservoir has a, either a crack or a bad seal. And as you can see, it's kind of in a tough spot to get to. You can't really get it out this way. Um, so I'm going to show you how to replace that. So I have a brand new windshield washer fluid reservoir here. came from autopartswarehouse.com. I'll put a link down in the description below to where you can get this part. So first thing we need to do is we're going to jack this side of the car up and take the wheel off. Okay, before you jack your vehicle up, you want to engage the emergency brake. That will keep your vehicle from rolling and safety first. So before I get the wheel elevated, I'm going to um, just get those lug nuts just loose enough to where I know I can turn them once I get the wheel off the ground. It's a lot easier just to get them, get them started before you get the wheel uh, above the ground. So that's what I'm going to do first. If you haven't jacked up a vehicle before, I'll show you every vehicle will have a little notch um, right there. So that's where we're going to put the jack under there and then we're going to jack the vehicle so up. Now that we have our vehicle jacked up we are going to loosen the lug nuts and remove the tire okay so now you will have a clip here you'll have a screw here you can see mine is broke but you'll have that screw there so to remove these clips you will just put your screwdriver in the little gap and then twist it and you'll see it kind of pops it up a little bit and then you can pull it out so that's how you do it you have a clip there a clip up there you'll have a clip right here and mine is missing you'll have a screw right here which is mine's already broken and you may have another screw um, one of those two may be a screw. Take that out and then you'll be able to fold this down. Now it shouldn't break or anything like that. It should bend, be flexible. So bend it down like, like that. So I'm going to get a bungee cord and kind of wrap around that um, to keep that from closing on me when I'm working in there. And there's my windshield reservoir so let me get a bungee cord and hold that back okay so here is what we have we have the wheel off we have those clips and screws removed we have the plastic piece pulled back and held back by a bungee we now have access to our washer reservoir and there will be three 10 millimeter bolts that hold this thing on you can see one right there there's one on the bottom down there and there's one on the opposite side in the front so you'll have to reach and kind of do it blindly but it's easy enough to do okay so I got that bolt and then I've just reached around on the other side and um, got that bolt out. So now I just have the one on the bottom left and then we'll go to the next step. Okay so I have the bolts removed as you can see it is now loose um, so I need to disconnect this is your electrical connection this is your pump as soon as you um, pull that pump out you're gonna have whatever's left in here draining all over the floor so if you want to get something to catch it that would be a good idea and there is one clip up top that we will need to remove okay so up top you will see a clip right there that will have to come out and you have to lift lift this up and off its hook there and then that will give you a little bit more room to work on that clip. And that clip that I just showed you just took a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen it and pull the clip out. 
Okay, so now I have my electrical removed right there. And then I'm going to take a screwdriver and pop the motor out. You may be able to just use your hands and just pop it out. Okay, so I have pulled the motor out and just set it up on top of there. And I am getting uh, some leaking out, so I have a bucket underneath. And now you can see it's very loose, so you just have to wiggle with it. And you should be able to remove it. Let me put the camera down and I will get it out with two hands. Okay, I had to swap out cameras, my other one when the battery's running low. So I have it removed now. Took some finagling and some cuss words later, but it is out. So here is the new one from autopartswarehouse.com. And you can see it has a rubber grommet, brand new rubber grommet on there. Um, this one's not there. It is probably attached to the motor. There it is. So we're going to take that off. There we go. So we're going to take that one off and throw it away because we have a new one that came with the new res reservoir. So here's my old one. As you can see, this one has some damage to it and there's definitely a hole in it. So that's why it was leaking. So now I'm going to put the new one in and hopefully we'll go in easier than that one was to get out. Going to wiggle it in. And again, I might need both hands. So I'm gonna put you down. So if that one is in, well it's not quite in, but it is close. So this one going in was a lot easier than getting that other one out. So, yep, so here we are. We've almost got it where it needs to be. Up here, I will line it up down here and uh, make sure my wires are out of the way. And then I will bolt that one down. So I lift that one up in place. That is where it needs to be. All the wires are where I need them. There's the power. There's the pump, so I am going to bolt this one into place. Okay, so I have tightened the three bolts, and now I am going to push the motor into place, and it'll just snap in between those two little plastic tabs, like so. There we go. It is in, and now I'm connecting my power. And now I have a clip up top to secure. So after you have put your clip back on, don't forget to secure your power steering fluid. So let's fill it up. Check it for leaks. Okay, so I've just put enough in it to get it past the, uh, the pump area right there. Don't feel any leaks, so I will uh, fill it the rest of the way up. Let's go ahead and secure our hose there, like it's supposed to be. Okay, so I have it filled all the way up. Still good, no leaks. Okay, so I have my clips back in place. There we have it, back in place. So now I'm going to put the wheel back on, and then we'll be in business. Okay, so I've tightened them all again. Use your foot if you have to. And now we're going to lower the car down and I'm going to tighten them one more time just to make sure. And then we'll be done. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope it helps you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. More videos coming soon. And check out AutopartsWarehouse.com. Great parts. Shipped fast. And everything fit. So that's awesome. And so... Go check them out. Thanks.